Master Builders, our series about German architects around the world. This week, two young men seeking success in Chile. At the foot of the Chilean Andes is this strange object. Is it a tent, a house? It was built by German architects Mark Frohn and Mario Rojas Toledo of the FAR Design Network. From here in Santiago de Chile, Frohn and Rojas Toledo take us out to see their first realized work. It earned them immediate international attention. The wall house, as it is called, is a single family house made of unusual materials. Their limited budget forced the two architects to be ingenious. You look where hardly anyone else is looking, and suddenly you find intelligent, unexpected solutions, which open up a whole new quality that standard materials would not have permitted. One unusual idea is the tent-like membrane that provides protection from ultraviolet rays and insects. FAR got their inspiration from a greenhouse. They used polycarbonate plastic for some of the walls. Starting with the solid concrete core, the Chilean construction workers worked their way layer for layer to the light outer covering. We completely utilize this 5,000 square meter property and integrate the outside space into the interior of the house. The design makes for a campsite feeling. The boundaries between exterior and interior are fluid. The whole house is open. Even the upper story is flooded with light. I love this rough texture. The bathroom is hidden behind the massive interior wall. The shelves are load-bearing structures that are also part of the layered concept. You never feel shut in. I realize that whenever I visit another house. All those dark corridors. I can't imagine living like that again. Every step you take, you feel like you're leaving one environment and entering a totally different one. It's constantly changing. Mark Frohn and Mario Rojas Toledo have profited from Chile's building boom. A project like the Wall House would have been much more difficult to do in Germany. Here in Chile, we've found that even as young architects, we can easily persuade contractors to build an innovative project. In Germany, a young architect is more likely to be viewed as a risk factor. The two architects have big plans. At present, they have offices in Santiago de Chile, Mexico City and Cologne. New developments, new challenges. They love the unusual mixture of dynamism and tradition they find in Chile. A bit of colonial style, a bit of modernism. Like Santiago's Central Market Hall, built by Gustave Eiffel, the architect of the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Mark Frohn and Mario Rojas Toledo first met while studying architecture in Germany. They both worked with well-known architects. The experience was good for their collaboration. I think we fit together perfectly. Mario is more down to earth, and maybe I'm a bit stronger on the design or conceptual side. That's what makes our office what it is, and provides the motor for it, that we complement each other perfectly. Now and then I have to slow him down, because everything you design, you also have to be able to build and stay within the budget. So there's this constant back and forth to set limits on the design. That produces exciting ideas that are right on the limit of what can be done. One example is the duo's latest design, the house in heat, a residence for a French wine grower who lives in Chile. Design, functionality and protection of the environment are equally important in the project. And once again, the materials are unusual. It's oriented so that this sloping wall is aligned to the north, which in Chile means it's facing the sun. That lets you absorb the heat energy during the day and store it and use it for heating or cooling. At the same time, 
The thickness of this roof buffers it from the outside climate, so the room beneath stays quite cool. FAR now employs seven designers for its architectural projects. The wall house led to many inquiries and some exciting commissions. They are currently working on a car dealership directly on the Pan American Highway, the road system connecting most of the nations of the Americas. The logo is an eye catcher. It takes form bit by bit as the viewer drives by. Latin America has given these architects room to experiment. The exciting thing is that countries like Mexico or Chile in particular have an extreme growth potential. That's what interests architects. We're not so concerned about things in Germany being more developed and people being better off. What's important for architecture is potential. Versatile, imaginative, networked. That is how FAR see themselves. Their first building set the ball rolling, and there's certainly more to come.